going to introduce Margie Atkins. And I just want you to know, um, it's been a long year. But for everyone who has worked and tried to fundraise to help Margie, thank you. It's an honor. And you know, I want to say something about teaching. I don't know how you sum up all the years and in five minutes or less, right? And as I see all the experience here, I agree with Dr. Dobbs. There are no words. There are no words for what you have given to us and to our children. So, we um, have come to honor Margie. And if you don't know, Margie is a teacher at O'Leary Middle School. It was O'Leary Junior High. And um, this year she was diagnosed with a brain tumor. And so, with that being said, I'd like to introduce Griselda Escobedo, who has been instrumental in trying to um, make sure Margie's been honored and help to fundraise to support Margie in her journey in dealing with cancer. Margie obviously can't be here. Um, I called her to see if she could come. She said no. Thanks. So she wants she won't press the word. And if you know Margie, Margie has a lot to say. And her response was like no. When um, Peggy asked me if I would present or accept on her behalf, I'm like, I can't. Although those of you that know me, I can talk forever. <laughs> and then I have a few minutes to speak on her behalf. But there's so much about Margie that I, I, I mean, there's not enough time um, to say. But I'm just gonna, I wrote this up really quick last night because my brain was just so much that I just wrote it. So rather than me just talking, like we're guiding you along. <clears throat> but who is Margie Atkins? She is my friend, confidant, and running buddy, and O'Leary's eighth grade um, history teacher. I have too much about this, don't wait then. <laughs> I have never met a person more structured and type A <laughs> who is, who is also a constant seeker of feedback. How am I doing? How can I improve? She is a constant student who not only um, listens to you, but also applies it. Um, she's always, always motivated. Her passion for her subject is so immeasurable that she even got me to read a history book. Which I know. <laughs> constant teacher. Um, who has changed students' view of history and created the thirst for more, many of whom have gone on to college and major in history and become teachers, even with our low salary. Who can motivate students to pass all of their classes for a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> who can encourage runners from barely being able to run a block to running miles and creating life models runners. Margie is my buddy who gets me out of bed at 4.30 in the morning before her tumor, before her surgery, when I hate mornings. And I would go with her. Um, oh, what I wouldn't do for my Margie. Yes, we are. Well, Margie is. She's planning our next half marathon. Before her tumor, we ran a marathon. And she got hurt, so she wasn't able to finish with me. And she said, we're going to run another one. And we're going to do it together. I'm like, yes, Margie, we will. Then she gets a tumor and gets a brain surgery. And I went to see her at the hospital. And she says, we're going to run a half marathon. And I see her, and she's paralyzed from her whole left side. And she's like, we're going to run a half marathon. I'm like, OK, Margie, we will. Wherever you want, I'll go with you. And knowing Margie, I know that she will not only run the half marathon, she will plan a pool, and I will go with Margie wherever she wants to go, and I will run the pool marathon with her. And this time we will finish together. I will go wherever Margie takes me, wherever she wants to go. I will go, and I'm more than happy to join my friend, Margie Atkins, 